Welcome to the AI for Good Global Summit. I'm delighted now to be joined by Kyriakis Kouparis, if I got that right. Yep. Head of Hunger Monitoring Unit at the UN World Food Programme. We all know the World Food Programme, but we don't necessarily know the Hunger Programme or Monitoring Unit. Tell me about that. Uh, yes, thanks, Chris. Uh, so the Hunger Monitoring Unit utilizes real-time data and predictive analytics to monitor acute food insecurity globally. And so we utilize uh, technologies such as computer-assisted um, telephone interviews as well as machine learning to ensure that we have our finger on the pulse in more than 80 countries worldwide. This information is important for us operationally. We need to know um, who is hungry, where do they live, how hungry are they, and how is their situation evolving in real time. And so importantly, we are the world's uh, largest source of real-time information on food insecurity that is used by governments, our own staff, as well as partners and NGOs on the ground to provide life-saving assistance to millions of people worldwide. So give me an example of how this AI can help you with this, which is so important. Absolutely. So at the moment, we have a real-time data collection in 36 countries in which we operate. And using that data set along with data sets uh, that describe the drivers of acute food insecurity, namely climate change, conflict, and economic shocks, we've developed a machine learning model that enables us to estimate the level of food insecurity in an additional 52 countries where we cannot um, collect data, mostly because of resource constraints and or connectivity issues. So using machine learning, we have been able to develop a model that enables us to understand what is happening in these 52 countries. Most recently, in partnership with the German Aerospace Center, we've also developed a forecasting model in a, in a handful of countries currently, such as Yemen, Mali, Cameroon, and Nigeria, where we can forecast up to three months in advance how the trends of food insecurity will evolve. And again, this is super important for us and for our partner governments to um, react in, in, in an anticipation of potentially deteriorating circumstances on the ground. So, Kyriakis, you've been wandering around, seeing what's been going on here at this um, summit. How, the importance for you of this, of a place, of a platform like this for this dialogue on AI? I think it's important for multiple reasons. Uh, one, I was encouraged to hear the director of ITU mention last night that while we all celebrate the advances of AI, we need to remember that 2.7 billion people still remain um, unconnected from the internet, right? So they're not benefiting from all the amazing ingenuity that we have here. And so it's, it's encouraging to see that there is an SDG stage that is trying to bring some of these advances to tackle and benefit those that are not in the room. I also think it's important to have a dialogue around how AI governance should be uh, arrived to at a global level. Um, there was a working group yesterday with uh, the different UN agencies that are here today to discuss how exactly do we bring the global order together in order to talk about the appropriate level of regulation and governance for AI. As with any technology, um, there's always good and bad that can evolve from the advances that we're seeing. And so we're seeing a lot of governments trying to catch up and understand how do we ensure the benefits outweigh the harm that may uh, come from this. So finally, what's the most exciting development you've been looking at or seeing or in AI? Um, I've seen a lot around climate change. I've seen a lot around using Earth observation to understand what is happening uh, in agriculture, in food security, and, and other areas that directly have an impact on food security. So for me and for the World Food Program, the better we can understand these drivers in real time and their impacts in terms of productivity and, and market access, the better informed we can be and our partner governments. So I'm really excited to see how this evolves. Uh, I just saw a presentation with Planet Labs and it's extraordinary the amount of information and data that is now being made available to many of the AI algorithms that are out there. Great, Kyriakos Kuparis from the World Food Program, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Chris, and thanks for having me. And we have much more coming up on the AI for Good Global Summit coming up here.